Hello students, I am Deepti Yelanki and we will be dealing with Engineering Hydrology in this session. Module 1, let us first see the syllabus. Module 1, under this we have Hydrology, Hydrological Cycle, Global Water Budget, India's Water Budget. In this session, we will be seeing what is Hydrology and Hydrological Cycle. Hydrology, what does this mean? Hydros, let's break it down. Hydros means water, logos means science or study. So, study of water is called hydrology. Now, coming to engineering hydrology, what it means? The science of water which deals with occurrence, circulation and distribution of water on earth's surface and its atmosphere. This is the definition of engineering hydrology. Okay, till here. But why do we need as civil engineers, why do we need to know about water? So, uh, we have lot of constructions to be constructed, structures, yes, lot of structures. All the structures have their foundations underground, yes, there is water table there present, ground water table there. Then you have lot of structures to be constructed on water directly, yes. So, you have to lay lot of foundations in order for, for the structure. So, all these things needs to understand the behavior of water. So, we need to understand how the water works. So, this is why we study hydrology, engineering hydrology. Okay. So, uh, coming to hydrological cycle. We have water. We all know there is lot of water in ocean. Three fourth of earth is covered with water. So, uh, when uh, we also know there is sun. Yes. Sun is a driving force. What it is? Driving force for all the processes on earth. Okay. So, when the sun shines, there is heat generated and this heat causes this water from oceans and other water bodies on uh, land to evaporate. Evaporation. This process is called evaporation. Okay. So, in this water is converted into water vapor and this goes and forms clouds. These clouds again at a certain temperature and pressure, these condenses and fall down as rainfall, precipitation it is called. So, there are different forms of uh, precipitation like fog, hail. We will see in the uh, further slides what precipitation is in detail. Then some water falls on the ground. Yes, it soaks. Does it start flowing as soon as uh, the, it starts raining? No. So, uh, some water, some part of water gets soaked into the soil. This is called as infiltration. Yes, you can see here, infiltration. Then later, when the soil is completely saturated, water starts flowing on the soil. This is called as surface runoff. This water goes and joins the nearest stream or river, whatever, any water body. This again goes and connects to the ocean. Sea, ocean, yes, every river and all are connected to the uh, sea or ocean. So, again from ocean, it's, it gets evaporated. Okay. So, this is a complete cycle which goes on and on. Yes, from last so many years and it will be going in future also. It will be happening in future also. Okay. So, this is called as hydrological cycle. Let's see the definitions because in this chapter definitions are very important and these may come in exam. Hydrological cycle of the earth is the sum total of all processes in which water moves from land and ocean surface to atmosphere and back in form of precipitation. We have seen how it happens, right? So, there are different factors on which it may depend like the oceans, land surface, vegetation and all, okay? Let's see all these processes one by one in detail. Let's start with uh, evaporation. Evaporation, we have seen, it's a process in which the water from the ocean is converted into water vapor and it moves in the upward direction. We know when the water vapors get heated up, it moves in upward direction. Yes. So, this is water vapor moving upwards. Evaporation is conversion of water from liquid to vapor state. 
नेक्स्ट कंडेंसेशन ओके सिंपल दिस इज वेरी सिंपल कंडेंसेशन व्हेन इट गोज अप इट कूल्स डाउन एंड इट फॉल्स डाउन अगेन सो कंडेंसेशन इज कन्वर्जन ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम वाटर वेपर स्टेट बैक टू लिक्विड स्टेट वॉट हैपन्स एक्चुअली ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस इज दिस मॉइस्ट विंड विच इज वेरी हैवी Yes, on the sea. Yes, so there is a uh, pressure difference. Yes, high pressure and low pressure, due to which the clouds, heavy clouds, are pushed towards the land, and then they start raining. Okay. Coming to precipitation. Precipitation is the deposition of water on Earth's surface in form of rain, snow, hail, etc. Let's see this photograph here. Dew drops. you know in the morning early in the morning in winters and all when you go out on the leaves there are small small droplets of water yes this is called dew drops this is also a form of precipitation then you have seen mist yes everything is moist outside this is called mist okay then comes your rain we are, we all know what rain is yes it rains then comes hail hail are small small round round particles of uh, snow but it's not completely snow it falls like uh, rain drops only lighter parts then comes your snow snowfall so all these are different forms of precipitation okay now coming to interception please don't confuse between interception and transpiration okay try to understand these two concepts very clearly okay uh, tell me one thing when it rains does the whole water whatever it has rained reaches the uh, surface of the earth no it doesn't happen like that some water is retained on the leaves flowers branches yes so the retained water is called interception interception is the short term retention of rain water in the foliage of vegetation but while it is raining do you know one more thing when it is raining itself also there is evaporation when the water droplets have started falling from the clouds okay that time itself some part of the water is evaporated back again whatever is left over that reaches it reaches first the trees and all the higher higher things what are there yes then whatever is left after that reaches the land okay coming to the next concept infiltration so infiltration means look when water falls on the soil on the earth's uh, surface what happens the water gets soaked it doesn't start flow flow uh, as soon uh, it doesn't start to flow as soon as it falls on the soil first the soil soaks the water yes then after uh, one hour of shower what happens the earth surface is having lot of run of water run of that means the water is flowing on the surface that means the soil the part of the soil which is on the top is completely saturated with water so it cannot hold any more or it cannot take in any more so what happens it starts flowing so whatever water is soaked yes whatever water is soaked into the soil is called infiltration infiltration is the movement of water into the soil of the earth's surface next coming to ground water table yes you can see this blue part here ground water table so uh, there are soil particles here and uh, between two soil particles you can see this space so this space is filled with water here in the brown part the space may be filled with air or anything else but not water completely filled it may water may be there that is soil moisture but here every pore is filled with water that's why this is called ground water table the ground water table is the upper surface of saturation where all the pores and fractures of soil are filled with water 
so uh, whenever you want to have a uh, bore to be drilled for a well or anything so you have to go to this level to get water okay next percolation we have seen what is infiltration and we have seen what is surface runoff yes in this picture you can see infiltration we have seen the water is soaked runoff after it gets uh, saturated it flows interception also we have seen what is percolation so some water this infiltrated water it gets deep into the soil and it joins the ground water table so this is called as percolation percolation is deep infiltrated water which joins the ground water table next transpiration okay transpiration uh, it is something related to plants okay we all know what photo photosynthesis is photosynthesis is a process in which the plant makes uh, food we say that in presence of sunlight okay it's a process which takes place in plants okay so a uh, transpiration is the moisture soil moisture taken up through the roots of the plants and discharged into the atmosphere through the foliage by evaporation here what do you understand by foliage evaporation roots where the water is coming up the roots are taking the water from soil and take transporting it to leaves so the leaves have water from the soil in leaves what is happening photosynthesis is taking place so there is a prime member taking part in photosynthesis which is called stomata you can see the screen part here this is called stomata so this opens and closes during the process of photosynthesis and anyways it is, this takes place during the sunlight is there during the daytime so what happens due to the heat while closing and opening process of stomata lot of water is lost okay evaporation takes place so this is called transpiration wherein water is lost to the atmosphere uh, from stomata during closing and opening of uh, stomata this water was transported to the leaves from the roots from the soil got it so this is called this process is called transpiration okay next prompt interflow we have seen what is infiltration so water gets infiltrated here what happens it rains and water uh, gets uh, infiltrated into into the soil but there are some loose fractures through which the water again escapes back into the stream or the river here and again it comes back to the ground water table it joins the wa wa ground water table so water enters the soil again it comes out again joins the stream and again comes back to the ground water table just observe the water movement okay prompt interflow is the lateral movement of water in unsaturated zone that returns to the surface or enters the stream prior to becoming the ground water okay next base flow there is a stream of water flowing under the ground okay under the surface of the ground okay this base flow when it uh, goes and meets joins the river or stream which has a uh, depth which touches the base flow it is called base flow base flow is the water flowing at certain depth below the ground water surface which ultimately joins the river or a stream okay so this is called base flow next surface runoff we have seen what is uh, in infiltrated water after water is infiltrated the soil cannot hold water anymore so what it does it starts flowing so the process in which the water flows on the surface of the uh, earth is called as surface runoff and where the soil is completely saturated that's why it cannot hold any more so it flows like this this water flows to the nearest water body a stream or river or a sea anything okay 
let's see the definition surface run runoff is the flow of water occurring on ground surface when excess rain storm water rain water or storm water snow melt water can no longer get sufficiently rapidly infiltrated into the soil okay this is important when the soil is unable to infiltrate the water okay the components of hydrological cycle we have seen how, what is hydrological cycle let's just quickly uh, see what are the components we already saw driving force we have seen sun transportation co components the water is moving right from uh, ocean to uh, the sky clouds then again back to uh, land again back to uh, the ground water then again to the uh, ocean and all so this movement transportation component what are the processes evaporation precipitation transpiration prompt interflow base flow infiltration and runoff okay coming to storage com component we have surface water storage what are they we have our uh, river pond lakes stream yes wherever we store water then uh, we have soil moisture storage yes in soil also there is moisture stored ground water storage so uh, with this we'll end this session here thank you very much if you have any doubts please feel free to ask me thank you very much for watching